Okay, um, so let's try this one then. Uh, so notice what we're going to do is we're going to um, acidify our uh, cyanohydrin. And remember, how did I make this? I used potassium cyanide and HCN with that ketone, right? So, or the aldehyde in this case. Okay, so you should be able to do that mechanism there, okay? So let's erase that part. That's not the mechanism we're interested in. We're interested in um, acidifying this cyanohydrin and taking the cyano group and making it into a carboxylic acid. Okay? So how do we do that? Can I erase this part? Has everybody got an right now? So remember, we've got an acid in there, so the first step is going to be what? Acid base, right? So what's more basic, nitrogen or oxygen? You guys remember? What did we say? Nitrogen, why? It's a less electronegative than what? Oxygen, right? You guys know that. So nitrogen is going to be the one that removes the proton. Okay, remember all acid bases are in equilibrium, all acid base bases. So do you see? Well, I guess. I don't know water. So do you see what we've made there, guys? What have we been calling something that has that positive charge? These kind of super electrophiles, right? Okay. So super electrophile, right? It wants to be attacked, right? Where does it want to be attacked, do you guys think? Where? Here? Here? Here, where, here, here, do you think, where, here, yes, why, that's next to that um, super electrophile, just like every, every other super electrophile that you see, because that's going to get rid of the positive charge. And this is going to be an equilibrium for right now because it could close back down and do it. Kick it out. Okay, so we got that. Whoops, no we don't. <laughs> We got that. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> and we've got a variety of bases in here, just like our other mechanisms. So I'm just going to put B. Remove that proton there. So hopefully you guys see we're getting close to the product. So the next step that's going to happen, you guys know? Nobody. Acid base reaction.
what is this thing? Yeah, super electrophile, right? What do you guys think too much? I'm not looking for a main It's going to be attacked by another water molecule. Still in equilibrium. Got a base in there, some base, probably water or whatever. Gonna remove that proton there. this. Is anybody done the next step? What is it? Know it? Do you know it? What is it? Electrons in the hydrogen. Acid base reaction. You guys have noticed something about this whole chapter. It's a bunch of acid base reactions followed by a nucleophile electrophile. Just everything you guys have learned up to this point. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Okay. show what? Anybody tell me? That's different than what we've shown every other step? A uh, single arrow. That's, yep, a forward arrow. Forward, sorry. That's all right. Can I erase all the top of the mechanism? <coughs> this is the driving force of the reaction. I just flipped it over to make it look more like what the well, how we drew the starting material. Okay. So I just did kind of a rotation here. We also have, of course, ammonia in there. And some base, it might be ammonia, it might be water, it might be whatever, is going to finish this up and deprotein and give us the product. which is this alpha hydroxy carboxylic acid. Everybody cool with that? 
Any questions on that one? Pretty straightforward, okay? Again, just a bunch of steps, okay? So you don't want to stop before you've finished, okay? And you always want to remember, where am I going to, okay? The most important stuff.